Setting up nurseries can be difficult for both new and experienced parents. In today's Ask Angie segment, we have some easy, impactful projects that will help you design an organized, cohesive space for your little one. From color schemes to closet storage, there's a lot that goes into designing the perfect nursery. Rachel Zeppernick, interior home expert at Angie, is here to walk us through her favorite gender-neutral nursery projects. Painting the nursery is a great way to start to personalize the space for the baby. You can choose neutral tones or you can select an entire theme like we did with Lego. You can DIY the project or hire a professional to make sure the work gets done quickly and correctly because you will be spending a lot of time in the space. If you do choose to hire a pro, make sure you pick a reliable painter, someone with great online reviews, references, and examples of their previous work. Decorating your new nursery can be the most exciting part of the project. Some people like to design their nurseries with a theme in mind, while others prefer to choose a few key colors and call it a day. You can get creative and choose any colors you want, but if you're looking for a gender neutral color scheme, think about using light gray, yellow or white as the main color and throw in a few brighter colors as accents. Lighting is one of the most important aspects of the nursery. Natural light can disrupt your baby's sleep, so you may want to install window treatments such as blackout curtains or shades, which come in a wide range of colors to match whatever aesthetic you've selected for the room. You can also swap out your traditional light bulbs for LED bulbs, which are less harsh on the baby's eyes, and you may want to install dimmers and night lights, which can create a more calming bedtime and morning routine for your baby. As babies grow up and start crawling and standing, lamps and unsecured furniture can be dangerous in a nursery. If you want the space to grow with your baby, talk to a pro about how to baby-proof their room and make sure your curious kid is safe for years to come. A lot of the mess in the nursery is going to come from clothes and toys that your baby outgrew way faster than you ever expected. One way to stay organized, for example, is to create a bin system. You can label the bin seasonal, outgrown, donate, and keepsake. And that can help you control the clutter before it becomes a big mess. You can also hire a professional organizer who can help you set up the space, set up the closet, and create a process for you to make sure the space grows with the baby. A great organizational system now will ensure your space is clutter-free when the baby arrives. Do you have questions about your home projects? We'll tweet them using the hashtag AskingAngie and you may get some tips in an upcoming segment.